Hello and welcome to this Active Reports chapter. So in this chapter, we are going to be creating this dashboard. And this dashboard shows segments for a fictitious organization. And essentially, I have the segments at the top. And when I select each of the different segments, the dashboard reacts accordingly. So this is an active report. As you see, I'm using active report controls, which behave a bit differently from what you see in reports. Okay, I have some data decks here, you know, and I have some lists. And depending on my selection, you see when I select home office, it selects home office in this list. However, when I select corporate or consumer, this list is being filtered. Now I designed it this way for training, of course, because if this was a real dashboard, I would have probably picked either the control at the left, which is a button bar, or the control on the right, which is a data button bar. I also have a reset button at the top, which I click to reset the top part of the dashboard. Because at the bottom here, I'm using a data toggle bar to toggle the data. Again, you see that when I select 2019 and 2018, it only shows me 2018 and 2019, and I can add or remove each of the years, right? And I also have a slider here, which allows me to view those products that are our highest performing in terms of sales. So if you are only familiar with reports, you will be surprised by this interface because yes, this is active reports and the behavior is quite different. You see, you can engineer interactivity between all of these controls and depending on the connectivity, clicking on a button will cause a reaction, all right? So in this chapter, yes, you are going to learn quite a lot in terms of active reports and active reports were designed by Cognos to allow business users who like to travel or perhaps executives at the higher levels of the organization to be able to have reports that they can consume whilst they are on the road. Because the active reports, I can run an active report and give you the report and you don't have to log into the Cognos server to retrieve the report. And you also have this interactivity. Remember, for you to have interactivity with your dashboards like this, usually you have to connect to the server. You have to connect to your Cognos server so that you have the access to the database. But active reports break your connection to the database so that if I send this report to your executive, no matter where they are in the world, they can interact with this dashboard. And as you see, we, have, we are showing a lot of things here, right? We are showing, say, home office, for example, and I'm showing the different categories and sales metrics for home office. I'm also showing these icons that tell that give us a little bit of a, an idea of what we are looking at because when I click on corporate, I have the yellow to, at the top here to tell us that we are showing corporate data. And also when I click on consumer, you see that the, the chair is something that I'm using to signify um, the consumer because I have this yellow chair here. And technically I could put some labels at the bottom to sort of give the user an idea. But this is just, you know, having a little bit of fun with this dashboard. Definitely, if, depending on the company you work for, you can definitely put different things here at the top. And you can perhaps even allow for interactivity between these icons or these images where perhaps if they click on the yellow image or the corporate image, it could change the buttons at the top and it could also change the view of the dashboards. All right, so buckle down and let's begin.